Alright, picked up the coconut water. I'll tell you what, after yesterday with the graduation that was only we thought was going to be a couple hours turned out to be four or five and it was chaos and we went out to dinner which is hard on me anyway because of the smell. Um, but I'm exhausted and our hotel is not located in the best place. It's nothing wrong with the hotel itself. It just, we found out after we were there that two buildings over where you can't see it, there's a train running through. And then we had at 2.30 this morning, we had the garbage truck come and pick up the dumpster. So they pick it up and bang it on the truck to get everything out of it at 2.30 in the morning. So, plus we brought the cat over to the hotel room and the dog was already there and so the cat likes my formula and we hid it in the closet and then we put a wedge in front of the door like a door stopper wedge and that cat just kept banging on the door to try to make it open which was making the dog bark and this went on all night <laughs> and so between that and um, we had some woman banging on some door in the middle of the night and we had some somebody swearing that he was teaching another guy how to ride a motorcycle but they had really loud pipes in the middle of the night and they were driving around the parking lot which I think he was lying when he found out that my husband had called the police and um, so we've gone about five nights without any real sleep I mean, just like a few hours and then bam, we're up again for something stupid. So I'll be glad to get on the road tomorrow because maybe the next hotel will be in a better location that there aren't things around. Because we wanted to get up closer to our house, which was closer to, you know, the all the moving that's going on, plus being closer to the graduation. But every hotel near the Air Force Academy, which is where the graduation was held, was booked and had been booked for months, and we didn't even think about that. We didn't think graduation season, so we didn't book that far. We booked four or five months in advance, but it wasn't in advance enough, so we were actually downtown. So it's... I am so tired. <laughs> I get tired after just a trip to the grocery store or we'll run a few errands and then I get tired and need the rest of the day to, to read or watch TV or relax. And I guess chronic fatigue comes with gastroparesis, as I understand. And um, it's hitting me hard. So I'm hoping that I can catch up over the next four days, catch up on some sleep or at least just sit and read while my husband drives because I'm so tired <laughs> so tired yesterday I just started crying and crying and part of that was the emotion of my son's graduation um, seeing one daughter for the last time for a while until she comes down the other daughter's bringing in the car so we'll see her in a few in a couple weeks and um but leaving them and then just being so exhausted. I don't think I've been this tired in a while. And still pushing it. And I might seem wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, but that's only because I did something that hurt. I drank coffee this morning. <laughs> and, and I don't normally because it hurts. But um, it was worth it because we still got stuff to do until tomorrow morning and we've got to pack up the hotel room and get it into the truck and that's after we get done at the house and and I need to edit the vlogs yesterday's and today's so I got a couple of vlogs to edit and I want to go back to the hotel and sit but I have to wait on my husband until he's done with the truck because we are down to one vehicle now one is with my daughter, waiting for her to take it to, down to Florida. So, that is our craziness today. But 
today is less crazy than yesterday, thank God. And um, we may or may not get to see Deanna um, today before we go, but we'll see. And um, and that will be the end of our day, but a long day, another long day, on top of another long day, on top of a long day before that. So wish us luck. All right. We'll be back in a little while.